Sunday after Christmas, Thursday, the follower of Christ and the cross. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23, verse 6. Dearly beloved, thus ends the confident confession of the soul who hears the word of the Good Shepherd and follows Christ through the valley of the shadow of death and into the eternal house of the Lord. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 16, verse 24. These three, then, make up the Christian life. To deny oneself, to take up one's cross, to follow Jesus. To deny yourself is to put away from you the things of man that naturally cling to you. Man thinks that he can save himself and earn heaven by impressing God with how religious and devoted and hard-working he is. Or, he thinks that he can do whatever he wants, having been set free by God to satisfy all wicked desires and lusts. Denying yourself is to confess your sins and to confess God's mercy and forgiveness in Christ. Then you get to work in your vocations and obey the commandments of the Lord, not to earn God's grace and favor, but as fruits of faith. To take up your cross is to take up Jesus' cross, which is the cross he suffered and died on to take away your sins, to fulfill the law for you, and to give his life for you. His death is your death, and you have participated in Jesus' death by virtue of being baptized into Christ. You take up Jesus' cross in your baptism, which is a gift of God. When you awake each day, consider making the sign of the cross and saying, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2 verse 20. To take up your cross is to live the baptized life, confessing sin, being absolved, and confessing Christ. To follow Jesus is to listen to his word and go where he leads. Where's that? Ah, dearly beloved, you've already been following him as together we have searched the scriptures. Jesus is leading you and all others of his flock. You and the rest of his church follow him throughout this life. You follow Jesus and he heals the afflictions and diseases of your soul. According to his will and in his time, he will do the same for your body, whether today or on the day of resurrection. Jesus leads you to his supper and feeds you his body and blood, given and shed for you for the remission of sins. He takes you into his Good Friday grave and out of his Easter Sunday tomb. Follow Jesus, dear faithful soul. He's prepared a place for you in heaven, and he's leading you into his presence. Prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I am baptized and belong to you, O Lord. Please deliver your disciples from evil, dear Heavenly Father. I pray that you would deliver your people, me included, from every evil of body and soul, property and honor, and finally, when our last hour, my last hour, is here, grant us a blessed end, and graciously take us Take me from this veil of tears to yourself in heaven. Amen. Hymn number 523, stanzas 1, 2, and 7. Why should cross and trial grieve me? 
Christ is near with his cheer, never will he leave me. Who can rob me of the heaven? That God's Son, for my own, to my faith hath given. Though a heavy cross I'm bearing, and my heart feels the smart, shall I be despairing? God, my helper, who doth send it, well doth know all my woe, and how best to end it. Lord, my shepherd, take me to thee. Thou art mine, I was thine, even ere I knew thee. I am thine, for thou hast bought me. Lost I stood, but thy blood, free salvation, bought me.